One of my favorite features of Google Drive to show is the simultaneous collaboration feature. So you can actually have 50 other people in a document presentation or spreadsheet editing it at the same time. Instead of passing back and forth all of those revisions, everyone's just in the document editing it at the same time. You can always go back and look at the revision history if you need to make a change. So let's take an example here. I'm going to open this volunteer orientation letter and I'm going to share this with my colleague, Toby. I click share under add people. I select Toby. I'm going to make her an editor and I'll add a message. I'll click share and save. So she'll get that message and she'll be added as an editor. And I'm going to click done and I can start editing this document here. I'll know if somebody else has opened the document because a message will appear at the top right up here. So up here it says one other viewer. When I click on this, I see there's Toby. And Toby is shown in pink. So wherever she's typing, I'll see a pink cursor. So I'm going to start typing here. I'm going to make some changes. And I see Toby is typing down below. She's typing at the exact same time as me. She's typing on the third paragraph. So I can make some changes as she's typing. I'm gonna go ahead and make this a link. And I know kind of not to type over what she's typing because I can see where she is in the document. So I can see she just made a change right there, 12 to two o'clock. Now she's over here and I'm up here and she'll see my cursor moving around throughout the document. I can chat with Toby while we're in this document. I click one other viewer and I can send her a chat message. And when she responds to my chat message, I'll see that appear here. And you can have 50 people in here at the same time editing this document. So you can have a chat with everybody. Everybody shows up in a different color. So it looks like she's making an edit right now to the document based on what I've just put in chat. I can collapse the chat window by clicking the one other viewer and that collapses the chat window. When Toby responds to my chat, it will start flashing. So I'll know that she's responded to the chat. Oh, she's responding now. She just wrote, thanks for confirming. So this is an example of simultaneous collaboration and these colors really help. So you can see who's editing what part of the document. Next, let's take a look at simultaneous collaboration in a spreadsheet. So I'm going to open my product spreadsheet here. And again, in a spreadsheet, a presentation, or a document, you can have up to 50 other people simultaneously editing the document. So I'll share this with Toby. I like sending a message when I share a doc just so the person understands why they're getting this doc. So I'll click share and save, and I'll click done. I can start editing. Notice that the cell I'm working in is outlined in blue. Every editor will have a different color assigned to them, so you'll know who's on what cell. Okay, and Toby has just entered my spreadsheet. It says one other viewer, and there's Toby. Now I'll know what cell Toby's on because it's highlighted in pink like this one here. And as she moves to different cells, the outline of the cell will change. So she just moved down here and I can tell she's editing it because it's dark gray. When she's editing it, it's dark gray and I can't make a change. And there's the change she just made. So we can both edit this at the same time here. And we know not to edit the same cell because if you see a cell outlined in a color, it means somebody else is in that cell. And we've got our chat window here. So I can send a message to Toby. And again, I can collapse that to save space. Looks like she's editing this cell now because it was in gray. It actually had her name that came up. So I know that's Toby. You'll see the first name of the person who's editing. And so for everybody who edits the document or who's in here at the same time, we'll see a different color and their name. And so you'll know which name is assigned to which color. And there's Toby's response to the chat. It's helpful to chat in the chat window instead of having to have a Gmail window open or be leaving comments within the spreadsheet. This is a lot more efficient to chat with other people in the spreadsheet. So that's how the simultaneous collaboration works in documents and spreadsheets. And again, you can have up to 50 other people simultaneously collaborating. 
And if you want more information on how to change the revision history or access that, or if you're curious, well, what happens if someone makes a mistake or makes changes I don't like, you should watch the movie about the revision history.